I have a question. Why are there so many card tricks? Seriously, there's a lot of card tricks in the world, and I've seen my fair share. But I'll tell you this. I'd rather watch somebody do a card trick than pretend to read your mind. It's pretty crazy. And I also have to remember, when I start to get disillusioned with magic, it is a deck of cards that really took the chaos of my childhood and balanced everything out. It was the equilibrium and the glue that held me together. And maybe that's because there are infinite worlds between the top and bottom of a deck of cards that can transform me into places I never even knew existed. I'll tell you this, 90% of card tricks all start the same way, and that's this way. Hey Google, pick a card. Ace of clubs. The ace of clubs. Now, when I say 90% of card tricks all start the same way, when I was a kid, I thought that was the way every single card trick began. Every single one. And it was my job was to find whatever card people wanted. And my method back then, well, <laughs> it looked a little like this. It wasn't elegant, but it was sometimes, and I only say sometimes, effective. You said the ace of clubs? Oh, geez. I don't know if I'm going to get lucky this time. I don't see it, but that's okay. Uh, much like me when I was a kid, <laughs> I would always go for a sort of a, a second chance. And with your permission, I'd like to take that chance now because I happen to know that the Ace of Clubs is not one of the face-up cards, so it must be one of the face-down ones, right? About. Can we start over from the beginning? No, really, from the very beginning. Why are there so many dang card tricks? <laughs> and when I say the beginning, I also mean, let's skip to the end with just one. The Ace of Clubs. Now, I have to admit, as much as that is a chaotic mess, and as much as that still kind of brings me back to the moments in my childhood where things really did feel balanced out. As an adult, when I look at that, I find it's not really ordering chaos. It's not taking the chaos of anything and really putting it back into order. It's just finding a good balance, enough to get by. Because really, if I could do this, if I could really take a deck of cards and balance out the chaos of it, well, <laughs> to be honest, it would look a lot more perfect than this. And it's always been my dream since I was a kid to find a way to do just that. To find a way to perfectly balance everything out. And chaos always has to introduce just that extra special something to feel a little bit more chaotic until everything can fall into place. And for me, that's what keeps me going. That's that little bit of chaos coming to order and discovering infinite worlds inside a deck of cards. And I thank you very much.